Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make my tape measure bracelets, and it's pretty easy. And this is the first video I've ever made, so I'm going to try to make sure everything is clear in here. But here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some tape measure, and I use uh, vintage tape measures that I find in thrift stores or yard sales. You know, I try to get broken ones, old ones. Um, a ribbon crimp right here that matches the width and they come in all different widths and then your chain nose pliers right here. So this is the first step is applying the um, ribbon crimp to the tape measure. So just slip it over the end like that and you can glue it if you want to. Let's see, make sure it fits. And the hardest part is to make sure it doesn't slip while you're tightening it. Then take your chain nose pliers and just pinch down on it like that gently because if you do it too tight some of these are really fragile and the little teeth on the ribbon crimps will actually cut through it if you press too hard so you have to be really gentle firm but gentle and then you can see on there it's it's sandwiched in between the two pieces of metal and you kind of pull on it to make sure and it's tight and there you go the first step in the tape measure bracelet okay like I said this is my first video tutorial so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I realized after I videoed the last part that the whole thing was sideways. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that or not. But I thought I would show you the, the step again in a little bit different way. So you can have some options. I did this one in antique brass. Um, and this one I'm going to use a chain. And you notice the chain is is big enough it's got the links are big enough that the lobster clasp will fit in anywhere that's going to make it adjustable and also easier to put on because you have this tail hanging down if you're putting it on yourself you can grab the end of this and I collect vintage beads so this tiny little bead is from my vintage collection so you just open a link on the chain put that through one of one end of I mean the, the ribbon crimp on one end close it really well because it can slide off of there. Make sure it's completely shut in there. And then the other end, the lobster clasp will go on that. So just very tiny. And again, I like to put two jump rings on it. I think those are four millimeter. It just gives you a bit better motion and makes it easier to put the bracelet on yourself. Make sure it's really tight together. Okay, so that's the way you finish the end. Lobster clasp on one end, chain on the other end. Okay, now you have the completed measuring tape bracelets that you just made. And I have two here. This one I did with antique brass. This one I did in silver. And they're both six inches long and then they have different uh, ways to finish them off on the end. And they're very simple, very plain. You can wear them like that if you want to. Or you could put them in an arm party with a bunch of other different bracelets and it looks great like that too. I find that a lot of people that like sewing and quilting really like these. So these make great Mother's Day presents too. But you don't have to leave them plain like this. You can add, you can embellish them in a lot of different ways. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways. I'm going to use this antique brass filigree and put it right in the center. And then one of the rhinestone buttons for my collection and I just buy these wherever I can find them antique stores online eBay Etsy wherever I can can find them and collect them and save them for projects like this because they're really great I love the way I love to mix really bright blingy things with old worn out vintagey looking things so I just like that contrast and this one I'll put an antique silver filigree and notice it doesn't match here this is antique silver this is just plain shiny silver and I don't mind mixing metals either so I do that a lot too and here's a different little smaller rhinestone button and I just clipped the back off of both of those with my uh, vintage clippers here so those work really well and I glue everything together with this E6000 glue it works I mean it holds everything I've never had anything fall off uh, let me show you this one too. This is a smaller one. It's not finished yet, but you can get the idea. Um, on these smaller ones, sometimes the rhinestone buttons are, are a little big for it. So you can see, I, I probably could do that, but it might seem a little bit big. So I like putting vintage buttons on these. And sometimes I might just put like one big one in the center 
or you can put a bunch of little ones like every inch or so down there I like to use the ones with the thread in it even I don't take the thread out I just like the way that looks like it just came off of somebody's shirt and you're fixing it and so that's another way to finish it and if you really want to get fancy you can turn it into a tutu for your wrist with some of this really great uh, fringe trim and that I would just put um, fabric glue along the edge and glue it so it would look kind of like that so that makes it really nice and very special very unique probably nobody that you know is going to have a bracelet like this one so if you decide to make these I would love to know about it and see what you made so leave me a comment and a link to your blog or a picture so I can see it thanks for watching mm -hmm.